Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. It is now early September. I've gotten up this early this morning and I've started moving cows from this meadow into the other. Uh, we've already rolled it so um, I'm thinking that's ready to take the cows back. We can get in here and roll this because the grass is growing so quick. We've not even had a chance to fertilize it yet and it's only got one more state of growth to go. So we want to get them out of there. I want to get that rolled. And uh, then we want to look into doing some fertilizing. And I also need to join the small field next to the large meadow around the back. I've already got the last lot of cows loaded up. So uh, we'll get them, take them round. Also today, we are going to sell the bales on the trailer in front of us. Uh, they're going to go to the uh, animal market's feed because I need the trailer to uh, move the wood because I've got trees to take down as well. I've got a lot coming up in the next two days, I think. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be busy. I want to get rid of that. I was looking... Let me just do this. I was also looking into... selling some milk. We have 1,000 litres in the... Uh, other barn we have but we only have 5,000 litres here so we've not got the 8,000 for a full tanker so we're not going to do that but what we do have is 24,000 litres of slurry I think about 22,000 litres of manure so to fertilize some of our meadows we may go down that route and uh, this time lease ourselves a uh, spreader. Hopefully we've got enough power to pull something of uh, some sort of uh, capacity. If not, we're really going to struggle. We also need to check in on our silage, because that's going to be our money for us again. So if I just bring me uh, info up. 67%, so we've probably got another month on that. So we've got no month, com no month, no money coming in for at least another month. We need to be mindful of that. The cows obviously now back here, so they're going to be using up the straw, the hay, and the silage. I think what we need to do is get maybe a worker started on the rolling. Hopefully they can do a half decent job and I can get to doing selling some of these bales and hopefully get started on a few other jobs. The uh, I just said notice the roller is still on the back of the John Deere, which is fine. I was going to take the Johnny to do uh, the sales, but if this is all sort of in place and ready to go, we might as well work it this way. Boot the bad boy up. Yeah, so um, this meadow is now the only one that's left to roll. All the others have been rolled, I believe. trying to remember now. We get so busy. We'll see as we go round. We may still have to roll the uh, the large one that needs cutting. Not that needs cutting, that needs ploughing and putting together. Before I do this, I'm just going to check the fertilisation state, because that would be silly of me to uh, maybe roll this if it's already looking good, sort of for fertilisation. No, so that does want... So these have been rolled. This one hasn't, and this one hasn't. But it says they all need rolling. Perhaps I haven't rolled any of them. And I thought I had. We've got a lot more to do today than I thought. Okay, it's going to be busy. Busy, busy. So with that in mind, I've tried to work a bit of a headland. I've took out the dodgy bit on the side and uh, set the worker off to the rolling. Hopefully they'll be fine. They may go through the bush and into the next field. You never know. But we need to uh, need to get a move on. We're still running on uh, time six. Probably a good job with all the things I've got to do now. So let's get this done. This is going to, I think I said, the animal feed. Uh, it's the only place at the minute that's taken hay. Price. I mean, I can't imagine it goes too low. 
I think it's 157 per thousand litres at the minute. It only goes up to 186, so... I don't think it's really going to get all that much better if we wait. Like I say, I want to get them off. I want to be getting the trees down. Extending that field, because that's going to give us either more hay or more silage, which will either give us better producing cows or a bit more money um, from the sale of the extra silage. So the, the plan to uh, get the um, extra field is sort of definitely on a back burner while our money is down at 55 grand. I have had a little feedback lately um, with regards to uh, collectibles on this map and whether we should get them on this series. People don't seem too concerned if I do. Sorry, I'm just having a look. My, uh, my indicators aren't working for some reason. Hopefully that doesn't mean all my controls are messed up. <laughs> so we've got no indicators today. Um, yeah, so... Uh, what was I saying? Collectibles, yes. Um, people don't seem too adverse to us getting them. Um, I have said, I, at the time of when I recorded and was asking, I only knew where one was, and that's the one that's on our farm. And then in the video, as I was talking about it, I spotted one, I shoot it in the editing. There is one at the uh, dairy, where we dropped the milk off. So that's two. I know, I think, roughly where a third one is, uh, just through uh, someone's comments on... Um, on a Facebook post. They thought there was something wrong with their game because they'd uh, deleted an animal pen on a particular farm and uh, they couldn't get rid of this thing that was floating in the air and that was one of the cartridges. They thought it was a button or something off a, a milk feeder and the model had gone wrong. So uh, yeah, that's the third one. But other than that, I don't know where the rest are. But going off that knowledge, obviously I'm going to say they are at the other farms, around the animal pens and at sale points. But I'm not really looking for them. But I may, I'm going to get, I might get this year out of the way. And then in, so sorry, for January, we'll pick up that cartridge that's in our animal pen. Just to tidy it up more than anything. Now I think this is where we're unloading. So if I remove my straps, there we go. What do we get? 8,712. So that's definitely better than kicking the bollocks. We'll take that, nearly 10 grand. Also, uh, with uh, more people coming to the series lately, we've been getting a lot more feedback on maybe older episodes on this series and uh, on um, Baylor on, which is really nice. It's, uh, I thank you all for, for coming, joining me on my journey, uh, supporting the channel. I love the feedback. It doesn't matter whether it's on an old video or, or today's. Uh, it all helps. It all helps me learn. It helps me know what people like, what they want to see, what they know, what they want to share. And uh, that's what it's all about. Because I don't know everything. I've been trying to learn more about 22. Um, I've not had, I'd say, half the time to play 22 that I had on 19. Um, life is just a little bit busier in a different way. And yeah my downtime, despite the fact that I decided to start a YouTube channel, my downtime is a lot less than it was. So it means my game time is a lot less. And as I've mentioned before, all the time that I pretty much play is in these series. You're watching me learn and do as I, as I do it. Uh, I'd have a little bit of time that I spend sometimes on my console during the day, or late at night while videos are rendering and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I share clips and um, screenshots on uh, Xbox. Other than that, there's a not a lot of other uh, game time that I'm getting. So if I've made a mistake 20 episodes ago and no one pulled me up on it, odds are I don't know I made that mistake. So still comment because I read all the comments. Um, nice chap, let me know the other day that. Uh, about the grass, how pointless it is feeding these uh, cows grass, which is fine. 
I did sort of know that. I did try and say that I knew that, but then I thought, well, actually, that sounded a little bit snotty how I said it. So if, if you're listening to this, I wasn't being rude, I wasn't being snotty. Obviously, I know grass is the uh, the lowest of the, the yield crops to feed the cows, but I really wasn't expecting my newborn calves and my one-year-old cows um, that haven't calved yet to be producing milk so I wasn't worried about what they were doing in, in that sense I just wanted them to grow so I was aging them up the fact that they're producing milk is a massive bonus at the minute now let's go and see how our work is doing I'll leave that engine on and I probably should have left that uh, attached they are still going they're getting there right Let's go try and take down a tree or two and uh, keep an eye out for the notification that the worker has finished. So I've brought my trailer over with me. Uh, first tree we're going to try and take down is this one. I'm hoping it's much like uh, before and trees fall to our left. I haven't cut a tree down yet, I don't think. Yep. We are going to dig the stumps out ourselves. Yeah. And D limb. I'm just assuming that's all working exactly the same as it always has done. Right, now we need to go sort of size. There is a tape measure mod, and I never got it to work properly before, but I used to play with um, more controller and keyboard rather than just sort of keyboard and wheel setup so we may give that another try again but we don't do a lot of logging certainly not in this series we're just taking out extra trees that we don't necessarily want now I'm going to cut these to the length I want them to be and if they're still a bit too heavy I'm going to use my uh, lumberjack strength because I'm a big lad, stronger than the average, and uh, I think I'd have no trouble huffing a log over. Thank you very much. I don't want it to be too in the way. Now, I may have to strap them as they go, because they kind of roll off as I put the next one on. So get these on. Well, that's not bad. It's an alright job. I am terrible at tree stuff normally. Perhaps this means we may be able to do a logging series at some point. Look at me go. As long as it's all manual, as long as we never have to use logging equipment, we're good. I think we'll be able to do another tree before the work has stopped, unless the work has already stopped. I said I'd keep an eye on it, and then I haven't looked at it once. There we go, well, it was strong enough now. Now, a mod that I hope we see is the uh, the firewood mod. I really like that. Is it not going to let me cut it on there? It's not going to allow me. Very strange. Wait, I might have to take it off just because I don't like that hanging off the edge there. That might impede me. Or if we just try and move it along a little bit, maybe. Definitely not, maybe. There you go, we go on the top. Fine, right. Next tree, please. So the other ones that we want are around here, and they aren't going to be as easy. That's for sure. So I might take the other large pine out first, or spruce, whatever they are called. To me, it looks like a pine tree. Take this one out first, and then 
I think it's going to be... I think it's all these trees. I think I want all these trees gone. And then we're just going to bring it right round. I think that one can probably stay. Maybe this one can stay. But them three... Maybe that one's wrong. That one... No, we'll take that down. This one isn't staying. Cause this is the only one I know I, <laughs> I do. Tell you what, the sound of the trees is better this time when they fall. Definitely better. Anyone keeping an eye on that work before me? Finished. Didn't do a very good job at limbing. De-limbing that time. Okay. Now this is a bigger one. Try and think about there. Right, take the crappy bit off the end. Oh, getting excited. Right on the edge. Oh, this is getting heavy now. <laughs> See that bounce. Try and get the other strap if I can. Maybe we'll get that one off. Right. It's been a while since I've done the uh, the map tour, so but I'm trying to think in my head right now. The, I think the sawmill is down in the south somewhere. I think it's uh, a bit of a trek away, if I remember rightly. piece somewhere. Was that it? One more piece. I'm sure we had some more. Oh, nope. We chopped the pointy end off, didn't we? Right. So we'll make sure it's strapped on decent. Just run across the top. There we are. To go and find the sawmill. We'll probably find out if our worker has finished as well as we go past. So you got that for the first load. That didn't go too bad, I don't think. That was all right. So if I just pull over up here, we'll either wait for him to finish so I can move him into a new field, or he has finished, I'll get him moved and uh, we'll head out. Turns out the biomass heating is often the best price. Uh, the sawmill and the carpentry, I think the sawmill was about 2,300 per thousand litres. Uh, carpentry, um, 3,000 and I think 20 per thousand biomass 3,050 now I did put my little beacon on I'm not sure where it was and I think it's over here there it is so I think we can sell our wood here the same spot we just hit the trigger 
might have to take the straps off first. You know I'm going to just keep hitting them all and turning them back on. Should have just done it from the in-cab control. Why I can't smoothly move along is beyond me. Right. So 4,000... Nine, I thought we were going to get more than that. <laughs> I was expecting about 10 grand. And I think that's probably the denser and the better of the wood. Who knows, we may have got a better price then at the sawmill because they were nice straight lengths. I'll just take the scenic route back round to the meadow where I want to cut the trees just to see how well the work is doing. Or not, as the case may be. Where are they? Oh no, they're still going. Oh, we're going through these trees. Perhaps I should take these ones out as well. <laughs> now I think initially the old original fence went and those trees were inside that meadow. So I could even maybe take them trees down and move my fence. That could be something that happens. Another day, not today. Out of the way, dear. So, I'm going to get on with cutting these trees down. I'm not going to do this as a time lapse because I personally I can find that quite nauseating um, because it's a lot of up and down and shaking about. So, I'm going to cut the trees down the lemon, see what we've got left and then I'll bring you back either as I'm loading or on my way to sell something like that so I'll see you in a minute so the first three are on and loaded up this is the largest there seems to be a lot of waste on these trees hopefully this falls to my left I've had two of them fall on top of me so far so left with the wedge. Let's get rid of that. Right. Yeah, the D-Limon is quite a thing. This one is actually going to leave me with limbs, isn't it? I'm just going to try and uh, make them uh, disappear, really. I think this one's going to be best. They're not going to be worth nothing to take. Uh, quite sure. Now there should be like a visible dark. There we go. So all that is actually waste. You wouldn't even get nothing for that on the darker side. See, it all disappears. few more left. I think I'm probably going to have to cut this one in half, realistically. Now I'm not sure which is the densest of the trees. So obviously the denser trees are going to get you uh, more money because you're getting paid by the litre so whether or not it's actually worth just wood chipping it doing it that way although unless you own a wood chipper that's actually quite an expensive uh, route I guess leasing a wood chipper just to make a few extra pounds might be a little bit extreme Let's go this way. It's not quite right, is it? Oh, that'll do. It's, it's, it's not going to come off, is it? So we'll leave it at that. Now, our worker was still going. 
we'll take the long route around again. We'll have a sneak peek. They, they only had a little bit left, maybe two passes, so they may even be finished. So I may even be able to move them over. Looks like they might be done. I'm going to wait around for them. I'm going to move them into, into the other field, and then we'll go get this sold. Now, once we've got this wood sold, we're going to stop off at the store. We're going to lease a plow so we can dig up the, uh, the soil between the small meadow and the uh, larger meadow. And I'm also, because that's going to bring up stones annoyingly, I'm also going to lease, yeah, I'm going to say lease, a, a front bucket that can pick up stones. There's a few of them about, I think. I'm sure we can fit one on ours. Let's take them straps off. There we are. So, that's another two and a half grand. So that might, that should cover, ooh, dangerous. That should cover our costs of the leasons that we're about to do. If nothing else. Stories just around the other side. We nearly, we nearly, we really need to get over here with the John Deere because that's starting to uh, get a little bit low on diesel. If we had the money, I'd pay for it to uh, be delivered and fill up our diesel tank where we are. Uh, we can't really afford that at the minute. But as soon as we can, that's something we may be going to do. Uh, we could even, if we've, when we're rich, um, lease a Bowser and take over. I'd rather do it that way. Although paying for a diesel delivery isn't unrealistic. So Anyway, let's go see what they've got for us in store. Since we're going to be using the Massey, um, it's sort of a toss-up because we're limited on horsepower. We've got 145 horses. So the Agrimaz POV 4XL, 130. Um, two meters and that's twelve thousand. Obviously, the higher the price, the 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 more it's going to be to lease it. And we have see this one's the same length, two meters, eighty five horsepower. It's a little bit more, but I think sorry, I just hit the mic. We're gonna be able to maneuver with it a little bit better. So we're gonna lease this. It's gonna cost us about a grand. And I believe what we're after for the stones is the RK Beat Basket and Stone Picker. It's got a colour choice, but we'll we'll keep it in its brand colour. I never know how to pronounce that properly. I think it's Hauer. You have to let me know if that's right, Hauer. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty cheap. Uh, 61. And uh, we're not going to use it, obviously, until we've dug up, but we'll take it with us now. So we're just going to try and get these both loaded onto the back here. Now, I don't know if the strap, all oh, the straps are going to work. That's marvellous. That's what we like to see. So if we turn around, straps are on. At least for the uh, bucket anyway. So we'll get this back to the farm. And uh, we'll get digging and stone picking. Well, it all stayed on very nicely for me. So uh, that's pretty impressive. Some of the things that giants have brought forward are absolutely brilliant. Some of the things they've left behind are just so disappointing. Okay, so we shall uh, unstrap all that, lower it. I've already got my weight on the front, so we just need to get ourselves in position. and heave this off on her own now. A couple of big strong lads helps get it on there, so easy does it. Strap on my back strap on my back and I'll run up the field with it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, there we go. We should be able to get that on there now. Super duper. If I 
find. Spot. Our worker is way off over there. Hopefully they're having a fun time. Doing a good job. Hope y'all having a fun time. Right. So, we lower that down. I think that should turn ploughing or field creation on for me. It does. It's almost like I know what I'm doing, people. So we'll try and mark out the area as best I can. Can we do this with a bit of pace? See? Doesn't matter if I get really close to the fence, just grass, so if we don't cut it, it don't matter. I want to go along there another another one more time, because that's English. <laughs> you can see them through the trees, they're hossing about. They are they are killing it over there. Right. So now we'll have a better row, a better line of where we're working, I think. It's not going to make a massive difference, I know that, but it will make some difference. Plus, it'll just look nicer if that's all, you know, hard meadow grass. And then again on this side. I'll just come at this one at an angle. Around nice and close to the bush. Till we meet. I'll first myself up and we'll go again. job. Right, so now it's just a little bit up and down. Filling this patch in. Or well, not filling it in, digging it up. last little patch. There we have it all dug up. Just turn that off. We don't want it to uh, a hole somewhere we don't want one. I don't think there was any other area that I wanted to dig up. Not for the minute. We have come across by the looks of a stump. It's going to do that anyway, in it? Because... It's a plow. Right. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. Just a little bit of tree. Is there any more? Any more for any more? Nope. That's all pretty good. Right. So what I need to do is go and switch my weights around and get the front loader attached on the front of the Massey so that we can then attach that bucket. It's not like there's a lot of stones here. Uh, that's why we've not leased a, uh, a big old stone picker. 
but there are enough there that if we constantly go over them it's going to damage our rollers and our mowers so we need to get them off and I figured this would be a fun way to do it, a new way to do it I'm not even sure how well this is going to go never used it before I just knew that that was there, and uh, I'm not good with. Well, it's not that I'm not good with a stone. Why is that I'm not good with a stone picker? I don't like doing a stone picker. So, does it just do it? Let's turn it on. Who knows? Have I brought the wrong version of it? doing anything. Why aren't it doing anything, people? You have to turn it on. Right. So now I've got to find a sweet angle so I'm not drifting. I want it to... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Still picking. You're not messy the bucket. Brilliant. It's got quite a capacity on it by the looks of it. Which is nice. As it doesn't get too heavy. Stones in there, mate. Now again, I'm going to do this a little bit like I did with the plow when we were reverse, rather than turn round, because I think that's actually going to work out to be quicker for me not got any stones there so we don't need to worry about that bit. Now I think there are attachments for wheel loaders and telehandlers as well. Now if you can do it at that speed, maybe with a, <laughs> a telehandler or a wheel loader, that's probably quicker and more efficient than an actual stone picker. Ah, speaking of quick and efficient stone picking, uh, new channel subscriber, Rednecks, uh, was it Rednecks Gaming, uh, got in touch with me. He's been uh, commenting on a lot of the videos. He's, uh, he's enjoying the content, and I appreciate him for that. But got in touch with me after seeing and hearing of my uh, annoyance and struggles. Uh, with uh, stone picking and uh, sent me a link to a little video he'd made I think not just purely for me but off off the back of watching my, my, my troubles um, where he's used the subsoiler that we leased on this series uh, not that long ago the orange one the uh, MAAG and put a drawbar on the back and then attach the stone picker to it so the, the subsoiler has a 5 metre working width I think the stone picker has a 6 metre working width so you're never missing anything you're always always in positive width and uh, it does it all in one foul sweep and it does it at speed or not at speed it's not speed farming it's just efficient farming and um, yeah, I've got to try and put a link down to his channel in the description. If there's anyone that gets in touch and helps me out like that and wants to share and help me improve, I am all up for sharing the love. So Rednex Gaming, R E D N E X Gaming, check him out. It's very new. Um, he's got a good concept to his gameplay style for the for what he has done recently. Um, very uh, role playing, which is cool. I'm just not very good at role playing. I'd love to be better at role playing. Um, I'd either get too deep into a character or it would just come out really bad. But the the way he puts across his gameplay is really quite fun. And uh, yeah, if he's going to put out some helpful tips and vids, uh, check them out.
So I don't think that one made as much contact. Might need to uh, lower it a little bit. Too much though, because you end up lifting the track too and you lose traction. Yeah, I don't think we're picking up there, are we? Are we? I don't think so. Back that up. Let's see what's going on. There's some stones. Can we get them? I don't think we are. Not them ones, though. Anyway, this has been a different way of doing it. Um, I think it's... Apart from this little section here, where I'm having trouble, I think it's been pretty efficient. You maybe don't get the neat uh, sort of seed bed look that you get from doing it with a proper um, stone picker. Yeah, that's not picking that up. It's not registering, and I'm starting to lose traction. There we go. And just where the ground is at a different angle. Just needs a bit of adjusting, as it would in real life. But I've only got... <laughs> I've only got uh, two hands, so I've got one on the steering wheel, one on the mouse trying to move the camera. I can't move the front loader arms as well. Got a couple of little ones there. See, now there's only 200 and something metres of stone. This is worth like 6p. But we do have this little bit of dumping ground. How convenient. Look at that. We're going to actually use it. This could eventually become the new way of me doing my stone picking. And this could just become a big stone mountain here. I think I might decorate it with like junk. So it looked like my actual sort of waste area. You'd have bits of wood in here from the fence that got blown away and stuff like that. That's about as good as my roleplay gets, where it's like, oh look, my game broke, let's pretend it blew away. <laughs> so now I need to try and get this back on. And then we'll get these back to the store. It's still turned on. As you do, turn on your shovel. It's going to get pushed by the uh, plow. That'll be fine. I have to remember to just come and pop a little bit of grass seed in there from where we've uh, ruined that a little bit. But that'll be that'll be all right, people. Trying to get this on it. Oh, it's a heavy old lump, I tell you. Chew on, boy. Perfect. All right, I've got some implement manoeuvrings to do, so I'm not going to make you watch all that because that can be a bit boring and then uh, I'm going to take them back I guess we'll be looking at seeding next ok let's get these back to the stall and uh, return them now I'm hoping I can get them to return the least goods without trying to steal my uh, other things from them they can so we want to return return let's see another great feature I often moan <laughs> moan about the game I do but again that is another great feature whereas before you couldn't do that it would just try and take everything you could only do one thing at a time the fact that they now recognise every item absolutely brilliant makes doing it like that more fun and more realistic. So I'm going to get the trailer parked up and put away. Shouldn't need that for a little while I don't think. And 
and uh, the next job on that field, like I say, is going to be to uh, sow some grass. I want to just go and check in on my worker. And by the looks of it, they've finished and done a pretty decent job. So, we're going to swing the deer round over to the other meadow. And I've got a feeling that this is going to be quite a long episode because we've done quite a lot of jobs in it and not a lot for time lapse and things like that. I'm going to try and put some cuts in where that'll work, hopefully it does. Uh, but we'll uh, roll that field and we'll get the grass in. I might plant the grass overnight. Maybe that'll pop through for me tomorrow and then we can do the rolling. Uh, or we may have to wait until that grass comes through before we roll this meadow in which case we might have to find ourselves a job to do tomorrow but that is going to be it for today hopefully you've enjoyed the video plenty done on the farm despite it just being like odd work it's, it's a busy day um so yeah if you've enjoyed it give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there and please go check out rednecks gaming and uh, drop him a like, tell him I sent you, and uh, yeah, have a great day. See you again soon. Bye-bye.